Right here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share yet another update on my workstation build for 2025. Now, those of you that subscribe already know I unboxed the AMD Ryzen uh, 7 9800X3D that I'm holding here, along with an Asus uh, X870F uh, motherboard for it, and these are top-notch components, no question about it, but anyone that follows my channel knows that I am not just a gamer. I'm a content creator, obviously, uh, but I've always had Intel builds that were really versatile, uh, capable of doing everything. Hybrid use is, well, my use case. And this chip, as good as it is, is really going to be, well, quite frankly, mediocre for everything other than gaming. Doesn't mean it won't work, it will, but I was ready to, dare I say, settle because, well, it is that compelling on a gaming uh, front, especially in the absence of being able to secure an RTX 5090, the only 5000 series GPU I'm willing to consider, because after all, I've been using a 4090, and, well, nothing in that lineup exceeds it other than the 5090. So, uh, this video is all about this chip, because as many of you know, and some do not, AMD is going to start selling their brand new chips tomorrow. That's the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D, precisely what I've been waiting for, and the 9900X3D. Now, the 9900X3D, I don't know that I'd even consider, but the 9950 is essentially that chip married to the X3D cache, which means we're going to get pretty much the exact same performance gaming as this chip delivers, and then all of the other capability this chip is missing that the 9950 offers. So double uh, the core count, 16 and 32, as opposed to the 8 and 16 that this one has. Uh, but again, this is going to be the best performing AMD processor for mixed use on the market. Uh, putting this chip to bed, now granted it is significantly more expensive at $699, let me go ahead and take this shot wide, but even at that price, uh, it is still going to easily outperform Intel's offerings, uh, something that you know in, Intel has not been working hard at uh, knocking AMD off, but rather AMD has been working really hard to not just stay competitive, but lead the market. And kudos to them for doing that. That is why my new build is centered around their silicon. So while this is an amazing chip, it looks like I will be returning it. I've had it now for several weeks. Been kind of sitting and waiting for this announcement. Glad that I have. Now, the motherboard, I'm not going to be swapping out. This is uh, definitely an expensive motherboard. I could have gone with something less expensive with nearly you know, all of the same features. Uh, but there are just some some headroom on here I prefer. It's not just the black color versus the white. Uh, for those of you that are wondering if the F designation is just a color difference, um, it is not. Uh, I believe it's also uh, tolerance, the power threshold. There are other things at play, uh, but really just an incredibly full-featured board with all the I.O. I'm looking for sans, of course, Thunderbolt 5, but still really impressive here in the realm of AMD, really the AM5 socket. And then you can see right here, I also got in my cooler... Uh, the Trikes Panorama 360 ARGB. I'm still toying with whether this is going to be uh, the centerpiece for uh, the Ryzen chip. Uh, this definitely pairs better uh, with Ryzen silicon, even though it's compatible with Intel as well. Uh, based on all of the research I've done, this not only looks great, but performs right at the top of the entire spectrum, especially when paired, again, with uh, AMD's chips. So we're going to see uh, my thermal take Tower 600, I think, just is going to arrive today. It's supposed to, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, but that is going to be the case. So things are heating up. The only things I have really left at this point, um, some uh, fans as well as uh, Gen 5 NVMe, uh, and, of course, RAM and my power supply. So that should be the easy part. I feel like the as long as I can secure tomorrow morning one of these 9950X3Ds, I know that's the chip for me. And again, at $700, uh, it's really going to be uh, the best consumer grade chip for mixed use for quite some time. And this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to get, you know, the, the bleeding edge brand new chip and three months old. This is still right at the top. Don't get me wrong. If you are going to do a build just for gaming, this is still the way to go because at $480, this can't be beat. And also now it should be available. After all, today it's actually in stock. So I'm going to link that up. Uh, grab those if you want them, but if you're like me and you've been waiting for something that is more dynamic, that can do more than just game, you know the 9950X3D is going to make you happy. At least it seems. So 
Hopefully I get one tomorrow. I'm curious, are all of you doing any new builds? Are you interested in the 9950X3D? Um, still partial to this chip, especially now that it is available. Um, what do you think of the Panorama? I mean, I'll have a dedicated unboxing for that soon, so keep your eyes peeled. I did toy with whether I wanted to go with the SE version, which is less expensive and more customizable, but it's also missing something that I found uh, critical. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.